It's the kind of beat to go. Hey guys, what's up? It's Joey, and today I just want to bring you guys a complete total breakdown of 2.1, and we're just going to kind of go through all the new different features that are in this amazing update. It's all really cool, all super fun. I showed you guys a pretty much a pretty quick look at all the newer things. But uh, first off, <clears throat> big thing, PvP, we already worked on that. I'm sitting about 1,407, and I'm in 38th place right now. Slowly working my way up the leaderboard, see how high I can possibly get. I'm going to definitely try to get to the Silver League, which is about 1,500 PvP points or whatever you want to call them. That's where I'm sitting with that. So that's PvP. Um, main map is the only map for PvP right now is Havana, and you're pretty much just matched up against a player. We'll show it really quick. You all saw it yesterday, but I'll do one quick attack. You're matched up against a player. And also, one other thing I really like is that you can revenge people that attack you. So I actually did beat Zach G number 27. And then JT, who is fourth place right now, I got torn up by him because like literally all of his zombies were like level 50 and I just couldn't handle it. I mean, I probably could have done it, maybe. But it was difficult. But basically what happens if you fight, you fight... There you go, and you get matched up with the player. I'm the Bronze League right now, so I'm getting 415 cans per raid plus 75 crates. And I got matched up with I'm Carl. So we're just gonna try to do our best. I think I got a pretty good setup here, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna set up my machine gunners right on down here. Just in case. Fire Chief's gonna chill out over here to take get down any people. And also then a machine gunner too. And sniper just in case, why not? So those guys are pretty much locked down right there. I think we're going to be pretty good. We're going we're gonna to be handled right there. Let's just throw down some scatter shots right here just to help control a little bit. And then this area right here, this area is just not even going to be fair. I'm going to be throwing some lumberjacks in here. Two fire chiefs. Uh, what else do I want to put in here? I'm going to throw in this borrowed machine gunner for sure. And since I do have some lumberjacks, I'm going to throw in some medics on each of these pads to help heal and whatnot. Also the fire chiefs. That's going to be really helpful to have those medics. And I'm just going to finish it off with at least a sniper. And let's start on the scatter shot over here and outlaw. We're going to start these waves off really quick. And this is pretty much, it's pretty similar to a basic attack, but you're going against other people and their collection of zombies and stuff like that. So pretty much everything is based on the trophy system. So every time you kill mutant zombies, you're going to get a couple trophies. I'm not sure 100%, so I'm trying to figure this out. But you should be able to get a couple extra trophies for sending early. Nope. Nothing, but that helps you to get closer and closer to get a larger time bonus. So every time you kill a mutant zombie, you get extra trophies. Uh, all your troops that stay alive, extra trophies. And if you completely save the different objectives, you get some more trophies. So the two objectives here is the capital of Havana right over here, as well as the hospital, the normal area right there. So I'm sending all these guys really early. We're going to be throwing out a machine gunner here. We're going to put some extra people. Okay, here we go. We're going to have to figure out how we're going to do this. Here we go. All right, I should have stimmed up these guys. Move them back, please. Move them back. Did I lose my machine gunner? Did he just like stand there and not do anything? He probably did. But we're getting pretty torn up around here. This is not good, but I think we should be able to handle it. See, I'm just, I was just, I was just winging it. Wasn't really paying attention. Just more talking and whatnot. Oh, it's Dr. Zombowitz in there. That's no fun. What's Dr. Zombowitz doing in here, guys? I don't even know. What are you doing here? Okay, hopefully we won't lose this hospital. Let's see if we can take out some with my very low powered. Yeah. So I got a couple drones. Weren't able to take out that Colossus or Dr. Zombowitz. Ah, all right. So hopefully, I think we should be good with the time bonus. All right, so that's pretty much an attack. I know I wasn't really that successful. Usually I'm a little bit more successful than that. I didn't have my complete team with me, but I'm not gonna make excuses. I didn't do the best I possibly could, but we still won. And we got plus 12, and we're sitting about 1,419 PvP points. Moves up to 37th place. That's awesome. That's PvP, basically, pretty much widely arranged. Another really good thing is they fix a lot of these crashing issues that people have been having. And it's been difficult for people. Now, another thing I really like is this new perk system or ranking system. Now, as you see above all of my troops, they have a little new logo, which represents kind of what their rank is, where they're standing. And it's really cool. I've been really liking it. I've been enjoying it. It kind of helps me see how leveled up my units are, how good they are. I like it. 
But here's the perk system. So whenever you level your ship, you can get new perks. So for example, if mine gets to level three, I'm gonna get full metal jacket, 5% chance to deal 200% damage, which is really nice. Those are just some of the different perks here. Uh, Y'all can check it out, but um, yeah, there's a couple different ones. Uh, one of the new perks that I really like is gonna be with the new contract. It's also doing the same thing with the mortician on the other end of the game. But where are you, contract? I probably already passed it, just didn't even see it. There we go. Contractor, and it is this right here. He can repair nearby walls. That is one of my favorite newly added perks for this. Uh, he can throw his hammer. That's pretty cool. Um, attacks. But the contractor is just getting better. I better. I like it a lot. I'm looking forward to start using the contractor more. Really, that's what I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start upgrading him a little bit more. Start putting in the work there. Let me collect this real quick because I've been needing some resources here. Researching wise, I wanted to research something. Hmm. Stim. Oh yeah, I definitely want to upgrade my model stuff cocktail right there. Get that ten shade that ten seconds off. It's gonna be really good. And I also got my second locker. If y'all guys, if you guys haven't noticed that, but that's that. I'm happy with that. Stim and recharge the merc. I don't need to do anything yet. Take that commando in. Level twenty one. Perfect. I'm working on upgrading the upgrading these guys right now the gals all right i'll work on that in a little bit but let's just continue uh next here's another thing video sharing with camcord now i'm not in, i'm not very familiar with this but you're going to be able to share your gameplay through this game to camcord for other people to see and from there you can also upgrade to youtube and i'm not entirely 100 percent sure how this works but it is a new thing yeah so they've in integrated that uh y'all can definitely look into that get more information there I'm not entirely sure what camcord involves but somehow you can share your gameplay if you're into that power to you man but here's another thing now here's just a couple a list of balancing things uh increased deployment size by one for the following units the firefighter fire chief the handyman the contractor the lumberjack the timber beast the gunfighter the gunslinger mercenary scattershot commando professional outlaw and the desperado and this is actually amazing because where I have my mercenary unlocked, I'm going to be able to put down five at once. And I've actually been doing that lately when I've been attacking. I just stack a pad with five mercenaries and I just let them go to town. Maybe I'll put a couple snipers behind them just to help take out some of those tougher brutes and stuff like that. But it's been really nice so far. I've been loving that new feature. Um, another thing, they've added a weak melee attack to the Infector, Reanimator, Mortician, and the Undertaker. So those are guys that aren't really doing too much in terms of damage, but more support. Other things like that, they're going to be able to cause a little bit of damage. Now, another thing, they lower the mission cost significantly, which is very nice. So say I want to attack somewhere, it's a lot cheaper, which is nice. So for example, I mean, that's not really the best place, but they've just made it a lot cheaper to attack. So you can conserve more cans, get a bigger bang for your buck, things like that. Another thing, they add supplies and DNA as rewards for quests. So that's going to be really nice. We're going to be getting some crates, get some of those DNA. If we're attacking, it's going to be nice, get more so that we can upgrade our troops more, which is really awesome because I want to upgrade my troops. <laughs> Another thing is the Los Angeles raid is now four hours. It used to be one hour, pretty short, but now that it's four hours, it'll be more time, give us more time to attack, get to tier two for that, help people get to the objective. That's going to be really helpful for a lot of my guild members and who people who are in guilds trying to get through this uh, quest or the campaign, whatever you want to call it. Uh, next, we have the players now have a limited amount of time to start off missions to deploy their units. So... You're not going to have unlimited time to just sit there and wait to deploy your units. Once you start attack, once you're on that map, you're going to just going to maybe a minute and a half timer and you're just going to have to attack. If it if you don't put your troops down in that amount of time, the zombies are going to start going. They're going to wipe out your objectives and that's a loss for you. So just make sure you get your troops down in that time frame. You'll be good to go. Uh, another thing, improved zombie AI. That's always a win for me. You know, zombies get smarter. Uh, another thing is improved flare behavior. So... Now, we haven't tested this too much, but of course, just a little bit improved. Things with that make it a little bit sharper, a little bit better. Make it work better, of course. Another thing, units gathering resources can no longer go on missions or be ranked up. So, for example, while I am trying to... For example, these guys. These guys are just sitting and getting me resources. They cannot be used in missions while they're sitting in here. As well as the fact that they cannot go on quests, so they cannot attack. Things like that. And finally, humans can no longer fail missions due solely to running out of time. So, for example, you saw me, um, well, 
if say you run out of time, you still you're not gonna just fail it just in case. So you just can't. It's just nice, a little feature to help you not be as frustrated if you don't make it in that time limit. You know, all good features. So I think that's so pretty much that's all the new features in 2.1 completely covered. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. But I'm thinking I'm gonna get one more PVP attack in. So if you wanna stick around and watch that, I'd stick around. Definitely check that out. See how we go. I'm gonna take away some of these melee troops. Actually, as you can see can't use them because they're collecting so i'm actually going to take some of these guys out because i actually want to bring them along let me let me get them out please and we'll just save these changes i'll fix that later by putting in some more people but we're going to take out some of my heavy hitters because once you put in them they'll be able to get you more resources that's actually a really good tip the higher level higher ranked or type of zombie or survivor for example if i put in my like level 22 destructor it's going to give me a little big boost in that resources collecting so right here let's throw in a destructor there for that emt we're going to put in the commando outlaw is going to be swapped out with a merc what are you scatter shot i'll keep that actually i'm going to put in the medic here that'll be really well that'll go really well it'll complement my fire chief so let's go attack pvp one more attack hopefully we can pretty much sweep this round i'm feeling good about this one Ooh, this commando that's very good so who are we going to be attacking walking dead level 20 23rd place right now he is level 35 this is gonna be interesting see how we can hold up so where are these spawning pads here all right all right so as you can see the mission starts in that timer above right there that's kind of that new feature i was talking about so right on over here ooh, they have they got some tough guys over here so we're going to be putting down these guys right here and i'm going to put two commandos down now here's what i'm hoping for this area i'm hoping that these guys will be focused on that one pad and i'm just going to see where people go and i'm going to have to do some quick throwing down on my zombies depending on where these guys go all right looks like everyone's focused on this left side so i'm going to move these guys back looks like we have some biohazards but hopefully they'll all kind of clump together in one area and this com this machine gunner will be able to handle that pretty well let's put another one back here move that back that'll just help out a little bit he's going to be chilling back here let's go ahead and send these guys see if we can kind of cut shave some time off that uh oh put these guys down get rolling up come on all right machine gunner loaded up let's use this flare right now move some guys in here got to keep this machine gunner warm and running uh oh if it goes down it's no big deal all right, that's fine. We got one machine gunner. We're pretty set on this end. I'm going to be pretty good just with this one pad right here. Okay, infector, you're going over there. You do that. You do your thing. Just got to take out a couple infectors. Got a couple of drones. I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem. And drop that last one. 263 without the time bonus. So once we get that time bonus tacked on, we should be very good. We should be very well off. 342 trophies. That's great. I love it. So we got a complete one. We swept it. We're at 1436 PvP points. We're just rolling up the leaderboards. We're at 32 right now. It's going to keep powering up, guys. I'm going to try to get seeds high. I mean, I got five days. I'm going to try to get as high as I possibly can. See if I can't get in that top four, top five range. But yeah, that pretty much concludes all the new features. I just want to give you guys a complete breakdown. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. See you later, guys.